parry, time it correctly to counter enemy attacks. Hello. Alright, it is once again time for us to check out another waifu banger here in Minoria. This is brought to us by the same people behind the Momodora series as a matter of fact. Many would say this is essentially a spiritual sequel to the Momodora games. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice once we get in here, the art style, completely different from the Momodora games. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, excuse me, but I'm not sure if I like how this game looks. It does not look like a Momodora game. I'm not sure if I could f support a game that does not look like Momodora whatsoever, sir. And let me tell you, I feel you. I don't like it when they switch things up on me too. When they came out with those new TMNT movies a couple of years back, I was freaked out, dude. I was like, well, wait a minute, these guys don't even look like turtles. They look like freaking space mutants. These are not the turtles that I remember. So I'm also on the same boat of not being a fan of when they switch things up on me. But hey, above art style, I put gameplay first. So I figure, let's jump in here, check it out, see what's up, and come to a logical conclusion. If you guys enjoy this, want to see more of it on the channel, you know what to do, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up. Year 1203 of the Remesian Calendar. A forbidden ceremony launched the Holy Kingdom of Remesia into a large-scale conflict against witchcraft. Weeks later, the ruling princesses were kidnapped and held captive by the heretics. Desperate measures were taken as expeditions of nuns departed towards the capital. The church proclaims these sisters to be the only ones able to purify the witch threat. Now their faith is the only hope to triumph over heresy. Witch corpses. The other sisters shouldn't be too far ahead. Let's keep going in this direction. The princess? We must hurry. Sister Samila, this area is infested with witches. It is our duty to purify them at all costs. I'm only a novice, but I hope to provide sufficient assistance to you. The ceremony has already begun. We do not have much time. Let's proceed in search of the princess. Oh, you're going to teach me. Perfect. So melee attack on this relatively cute looking creature. He is down. We have five heals. up. Oh, hey, how you doing? Let's see if I can just roll through you. Yes, I can. Oh, you're just like a dummy for me to practice on. No wonder you were kind of cute. All right. He's just standing there. He's taking it. All right, so whole day to jump higher. So far, so good. And... Oh, okay. It seems like you have stopped being the dummy from your beat up. Left bumper. Okay. So, we're going upwards down this way. That thing just shot me up into the air. There's nothing down here? You know, I found that hard to believe. There's like stairs going down. It's like, you know, there's got to be something over here. And in classic Metroidvania style, we got our silver coin, obtained one of 40. Recently, I think I played, um, I did cover Momodora on the channel recently, not too long ago. I think I gave like a video or two on it. And there's like a, there's a big focus on collectibles in that game, so we just got one of them over here. So they are definitely following in suit with that. Now, I don't know what happens when you collect all the collectibles, because I'll be honest with you. Nowadays, when I play video games, I ain't trying to 100% them anymore. Way too many games in the old backlog. I'm just about enjoying them for sure, but just more importantly, getting them done eventually sometime. A while back, I played Persona 5. Took me like half a year to beat that game just because so minimal time to actually play video games on my own time. And I wasn't about to 100% that one already because the story alone was like freaking like 100 hours by itself. So collectibles and games nowadays, you know, it's a nice thing if you got the time, but for me, eh, you know, I'm going to have to pass on it. This looks like a safe area, Sister Samila. Perhaps we can rest here for a bit. Okay. What's wrong? Let's keep going. Ah, eh, well, you know, she's over here sighing in front of us. Let's find out. I'm sorry. It's just... To tell you the truth, I'm very scared. It is my first time in a mission like this. I... Tr trust your combat abilities, though, Sister Samila. 
Please do not misunderstand. I'm sure we will do well. I have faith in us. Well, good. I, I have faith in myself at the very least, and that's probably all we do need to get through this. Ink bottles are one. Can be used to record progress in restoring your health and incense. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and get our save here happening. New... Franchise available. Alright. We are doing well so far. Don't let your guard down, Sister Samila. She's actually quite adorable. Alright, let's go down through here. I mean, I could just drop down through there probably, but I'm seeing a ladder, you know? We're not savages. Let's use a freaking ladder. Otherwise, we know better than the witches. Okay. Parry, time it correctly to counter enemy attacks. Hello. Your boy has done it. Now let me tell you right now, unless there's a specific boss or enemy that requires me to parry to defeat him, probably the first and last time you'll see me parrying. I'm 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 very thick headed when it comes to parrying. Like it took me forever in Dark Souls to finally like, give in to parrying. If I could just dodge roll through, I would prefer to just dodge roll through. I don't think my timing is up to par anymore, you know. I'll be honest with you, those horns kind of remind me of, um, the witch from Momodora. You know the one. The one that's well endowed. You know the one. Alright. We got a booty shot happening here, too. Cornered like a rat, princess. Now, if you cooperate and return to your cell, Silence, witch. You disgrace these grounds by wearing the attire of the Order. No. This is not the time for your religious fantasies, your highness. Huh? I didn't expect to find more nuns around here. I thought I got rid of every one of you. Are you here to rescue your majesty? This is what she is now. Look at her. Your kind wouldn't even consider her human at this point. What does that mean? Point your crosses at her and burn her alive. Pass your sacred judgment. I'm waiting, children of God. Liz, the ceremony's not yet complete. I trust you can handle those two? Leave it to me. Alright, we got a fight already? Or what? Oh, we got our first boss fight. Blossoming Witch Lisette. Hello, oh! Hey! <laughs> okay. Excuse me. As I said, boils do not expect the berries. I'm just how. Although that one seems to be. We're doing touch damage. Okay. I'm not a big fan of touch damage anymore in modern games. I'll just be honest with you. Like I grew up with touch damage with the NES. Believe me. I understand it. You get close to an enemy for some reason, you gotta get hurt. What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it. I'm gonna heal just in case. Well, what is? What the hell is this? Ow. Okay. Okay. I understand that that hurts quite a bit. Ow, okay. See, now that one I'll take. That was actually you striking me with your attack. Understandable. But getting close to you should not really cause me any sort of danger. I'm about to die, by the way. Let me drop a heal. Didn't realize how close we were to dead after touching her and getting struck by her wand, apparently. Gotta level up. Alright, not too bad. Are you hurt, Princess Amelia? Not much, sister. I appreciate your help. Are those horns? Is that what they meant about the... <laughs> it seems like you're um, in full motion over there by yourself if you catch my drift. I assume, I assume you are under the sacred office's orders, members of the Inquisition. Yes, your majesty. I am Sister Anna Fran, and it's a Sister Simula. You fight well. That woman you just defeated was no common witch. There are others like her, sinners who stand against our kingdom. We must be very careful. Their ceremony is progressing swiftly. While you have done well in rescuing me, there's more to be done. First, we must head to the library. It's a safe spot. Where's that, your majesty? A bit further ahead, but not too far. I will know when we are nearby. Be wary of the ambushes on your way there. I've seen corpses of nuns around. The witch, the witches hunt our presence. Understood. We'll be careful. Hello. <laughs> oh, 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 my dudes. That was on me. I just kind of jumped into you. 
gave you that sweet booty for that free attack. You almost took it, but reacted just in time. Um, alright, we could go up or down. I guess we'll check out the downwards pad first. And we could go back up by doing this. Okay, perfect. So we have a pad to the left. Let's check this one out first. Oh, hey, hello. That's, uh, for some reason, that reminds me of, like, a Wily Bomb. <laughs> Is it the skull? One of the things about... That blood worries me a little bit. The mer the Mercy Cellar. Okay. Archive 15 obtained. Locked. So we need a special key for this right here. Gotcha. The ambiance of the area is kind of confused. I, I was going to say something, I just completely forgot about it. Oh, see, you could walk. <laughs> Alright, I might have spoken too soon. It felt like, did, did we not walk through the first one? Maybe it was in the middle of a dodge roll or something. I'm kind of confused when you could go through and can go through enemies. Oh, well, I'm not really happy about going forward with that silly damage, but whatever. And it does seem I could kind of differentiate what you guys look like based on, or at least your attacks are based on what you look like. Yellow guy apparently is more melee. Red code tosses the wily bombs at you. Okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Oh, okay. We could actually um destroy the wily bombs in midair. I'm not sure if the blast actually affects them, but it kind of felt like it. Excuse me. Hello. You know what I would like? If the Wily Bomb affected the other enemies on screen. Like, I recently played, what was it, uh... Decay of Lo- No, no, no. Remnants of the Ashes. In Remnants of the Ashes, enemy attacks actually affect other enemies on screen. So if they're over there, like, swinging wildly and there's an enemy in the way, they'll take that damage. They'll eat that damage. And I like that. I like it when games do that because it just feels, like, more realistic, more natural, you know? What do I gotta say now? And there are so many corpses around. Yep, that is true. That is indeed true. Oh, we could go down or apparently go up. What does my map say? I mean, unless we have like a springy pad down below, that feels like we might get stuck. So let me go up and maybe we could probably hook a shortcut of some kind. But yeah, that's another thing that I like more developers to adapt. Just like, you know, enemies affecting enemies on screen. If there's a dude on screen swinging a wild axe wildly around and they hit somebody in front of them, let that person take damage. You know, why not? It's a wild axe, man. So we're all the way up top here. Mm, I guess we'll check out the left-hand side first. This might just circle us back to kind of like the start. And eventually, hey! And eventually, probably just shortcut back all the way to the first instance area. I'm kind of really upset about dropping down from there, because I more than likely imagine if we were quick about it, we could probably roll through and find some goodies up there. Although, it seems like we might have a chance to get back. Oh yeah, we're back here again. Okay. Ah, that's the reason why. Another silver coin. Let's try this out over here. Nothing? Okay. So we're back to where we kind of started from. So, I guess we'll go left. I just imagine this will probably just be like some sort of really big... That's bound to fall under my feet. You guys are the ones that attack, right? So let's just dodge roll through. Very good. And do I really want to go down there? I mean, it's not like you guys scare me or anything like that, but is it even worth it? What is a box? Eh, what happened? See a box I must destroy it. It's that Legend of Zelda mentality. You know, you see a pot, you gotta roll through it. In there? Okay, I'm sorry. OCD. <laughs> Yo. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me! I guess we need, like, a double jump of some kind. You see that in one blank box right there in the map is gonna bother me now. I'm gonna look at it the entire time and be like, oh god, we gotta come back and just clear it once we get a double jump of some kind. The library is just ahead. Please follow me. Thankfully, we arrived safely. Sisters of the Order. This is a secret library, a shelter for the royalty in times of need. I'll be staying here for my own safety. The witches are unaware of this area. Oh, okay. Your Majesty, we were part of a group of nuns that was headed to the cathedral. A blizzard caught us, and we were set apart. Me and Sister Samila had to take some extra days to arrive. You will find no living nun in these premises save for the two of you. Oh, it's terrible. 
The cathedral's halls have been stained with the blood of those who devoted themselves to the gods. We have been outmatched by the enemy. Darkness leaks from every corner. No. You must find my younger sister, Poem, and stop her. She is responsible for the witch's ceremony and for putting a curse on me. If she's allowed to do as she wants, more innocent lives will be sacrificed. Her madness needs to end. Poem should be at the castle. Your Majesty, how may we get there? The main entrance is locked by a barrier, a type of protective witchcraft. I'm afraid you won't be able to do much against it, but... That woman from before, the one dressed in black. She's a traitor of the church, previously known as Sister Devoir. Find her. She must know something about the berry. A traitor. But then, would she cooperate with us? You will make her talk. You nuns have your methods. Your Majesty. I won't yield to my sister and abandon our people. Find Sister Devoir, the traitor. Even her position tongue, even her poisonous tongue, might be of use to us. Alright. I'm liking the music thus far in the game. Really, really, really good. Well, there's, uh, I thought you were the only, I thought we were the only nuns left over. Who is this individual? Hello there, and welcome. My name is Harina. This library is a special place, connected to many others. I am the one in charge of it. Are you heading to the castle? That area isn't safe anymore. There are witches all over. Since you are around, why not take a look at some of the stuff I've got for sale? Some of it might prove to be useful. You never know. Oh, we have a merchant. Okay. Um, so, oh, the silver coins that we've been finding. Okay. Retrieve mystery gift. Blade of judgment obtained. A special node was left within. Reverie under the moonlight. Ah, ha, ha. Is that important to us, or is it just a little bit of a nod towards the other game? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I do believe we're out of time. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. This is Minoria. So far, so good. You know, yeah, I noticed the differences in the art style, but I got nothing against it. It's different for sure, but, I mean, the characters look fine. I just know what I'm looking at. The backgrounds look pretty good as well. It's not your pixel art style you might be used to, to with the Momodora series, but I got really nothing against this. And more importantly, the gameplay thus far has felt very responsive, so there is that. If you guys want to see more of it on the channel, let me know in the comments and be leaving a thumbs up. Otherwise, all the information will be down below in case you want to pick it up for yourselves. I will catch you next time.